your evening, your whole life and your day. Every single episode is nothing but dismay. So look away, look away, look away. Now Joseph had a dream in which his family would bow down and such. His daddy had a love for him. Those brothers not so very much. They stripped him of his robe and threw him in a water hole. They sold him into slavery which crushed their father's soul. Just look away, look away. There's nothing but horror and inconvenience on the way. Ask any stable person should I watch and they will say look away, look away. If you are interested in a happy story filled with positive characters and chocolate encouragement, then you'd be better off somewhere else. In this story, there is a happy ending and beginning, but the middle is rife with very few happy things. My name is Lemony Snicker. It is my solemn duty to bring to light the sorry history of Joseph, son of Jacob, also known as Israel, as it might have happened so many years ago. But you in the audience have no such obligation and I would advise all our viewers to turn away immediately and watch something more pleasant instead. This story will be dreadful, melancholy, and calamitous, a word which here means dreadful and miserable. That is because not very many happy things happened in the life of Joseph. He was the favorite son of Jacob and was given a very colorful coat and a dream from God of an amazing future. While the present and future seem hopeful, there isn't much else in the story that would arouse hope. Most everything that happened to him was right with misfortune, misery, and despair. This part of the story begins and ends with his coat and leaves him in a wretched well. I'm sorry to tell you this, but that's how the story goes. <laughs>